Hello, I'm Rick Lombardo, the Producing Artistic Director of Penn State Center Stage Virtual. I'm very happy to welcome you to another presentation from our streaming platform. We began using this medium back in March when live production was shut down due to the coronavirus and as a way to continue to produce and create new work. 2020 Vision, the extraordinary new play that you are about to see is a unique offering as it urgently responds to the historic moment that we're all living in with renewed cries for racial justice triggered by the murder of George Floyd on May 25th, 2020. 2020 Vision was written and directed by Steve Brodnax III, a member of our Penn State School of Theater faculty and performed by the remarkable Eric Robinson Jr., a graduate of our MFA program in acting. We are proud to have co-produced this production, really more a film than a play, with the People's Light Theater in Malvern, Pennsylvania, who originally commissioned Steve to write this piece to respond to this historic moment. Also, please note as an advisory that this piece contains both mature and disturbing themes, may not be suitable for children, contains mature language, and has the appearance of a theatrical firearm. We offer Penn State Center Stage virtual completely free. However, if you're inspired by this work and wish to make a donation to support organizations working for racial justice, or to support current students in our programs, please consider making a donation using one of the giving links on this page. And now, 2020 Vision. Man, 2020 can kiss my ass. Heidi's been a fucked up seven months, man. First Kobe, then Ronan, now Floyd. I mean, damn. How much more can a nigga take? I woke up this morning from a dream, oh, a, a, a vision. I, I woke up thinking about you, thinking, what, what, what could I do? I mean, you're, you're growing so fast, little man. You'll be four years old next month. What kind of example am I going to set? You know, as your father, it's my job to make life better for you than it's been for me. So, so how am I going to do that? Like, how, how am I going to make a difference? And then there was a spark that ignited a flame everywhere. And the drum sounded, and they sounded loud and hard. And as a black man, a black father, I've decided to heed the call. I, I, I gotta heed the call and fight. I safeguard a better quality of life for you and other black folk in America. Cause like Floyd, I can't breathe. What I always teach you, huh? Never fear or back down from anyone, right? 
So now I gotta do as I say. Daddy gotta practice what he preach. Now I believe in divine order, right? All things happen. What? Hold up. Hey, yo. Hey, hey, hey. Don't throw that bottle in my car, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Hey, I ain't trying to tell you what to do or what not to do. Just don't do it on my shit. Yo, I don't care, man. I don't care if it's just plastic. Yo, I get it, all right? But take that shit out on them racist ass cops. Stay the enemy. Man, I swear, white people in privilege. Anyway, what was I? Um, right, all things happen in divine order. I right, all things, remember that little man, all things. And right now it's a divine moment. Right, it's a time when people start seeing shit differently through 2020 vision. I've decided that's what 2020 is all about. I right, normal vision, acuity, sharp perception, clarity. My right, motherfuckers been walking around blind or, or with shades on, unconcerned and oblivious. Well, look, I mean, the bullshit has always been out here, but some people ain't see it or they ain't want to see it, but they see it today. I right, the shit is no longer acceptable. Motherfuckers better put on their contacts or prescriptions. Michael Brown, Tony McDade, Philando Castile, Stephen Clark, Tamir Rice, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd. Damn, shit's got to change. Man, we done been here too many times. And like Fannie Lou Hammer, we sick and tired of being sick and tired. It's war time. You best believe daddy got them war essentials. Bam. Black hoodie, right? Got to stay nondescript in case some shit pop off and the brother want to remain incognito. Uh, mask, because uh, COVID-19 still killing niggas at disproportionate rates. A direct result of racism. And it comes in handy just in case a brother want to stay incognito. Facts. Protest sign. Let a motherfucker know where I stand with mine. No justice, no peace. Fuck these racist ass police. First aid kit, just in case a soldier gets wounded. Touch it up, keep it moving, you did? Some goggles to protect my eyes in case they out here spraying tear gas and shit. Oof. A bag of Black Forest organic gummy bears, just in case a brother need a snack. And by the way, Black Forest got some bomb ass gummy bears. Right. And I. Check this out. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. We don't want to hear that shit no more. You see, I scribbled that jargon on the palm of my hand to shove it in the face of the first cop I see. You know, Thomas Jefferson wrote that shit and owned more than 600 slaves. Facts. So when he wrote that, when he wrote all men, who who who's he referring to, huh? The damn sure wasn't me or you. That nigga profited directly from the institution of slavery and wrote that he believed blacks to be inferior to whites. Hell, yeah, blacks are still seen as inferior to whites. That's how that white police officer could put his knee on George Floyd's neck and suffocate the life out of him while three other officers just stood by and watched. Fucking police, man. They're supposed to be enforcing the law, not breaking it. Serve and protect. That's their job. Shit, I ain't never felt served or protected by no fucking cop ever. I felt harassed. Yeah, every time I got pulled over, man, made to get out of the car, sit on the curb, had guns drawn on me, canine dogs inspecting my shit, and for why? Because I fit the description. Male and black. First time I got pulled over, I was in high school. On my way to see a girlfriend, man. You know, it wasn't your mama at the time, but uh, 
I was on this two lane street, one lane each direction. And I remember turning this bend and I could see some lights coming behind me, some blue and white lights coming behind me fast. So, you know, I slowed down, but I didn't stop completely. And then suddenly the car just flung around, flew past me and kept going. So, you know, that car went further down the road and it disappeared and I couldn't see it anymore, but I could still see the light. So, you know, I just kept on driving. And as I was driving, I saw more lights coming at me from behind. I look in my rear view mirror and more cops were coming at me. Now the car that initially flew by me was further down the road blocking my lane. And the cops behind me boxed me in. These motherfuckers did a roadblock, man. <laughs> I was 16. I, it, it was night. I was overwhelmed by the number of lights. I the, the blue, bright, white lights, the shit blinded. I didn't almost paralyze me. Man, it was an out of body experience. I didn't I know what to do. So I opened the door and I stepped out of the car and they drew down on me. All right, they pulled out their guns and they handcuffed me. Now later, an officer said, um, son, don't you ever get out of that car again when we pull you over. We ain't know if you was getting out of that car to shoot at us or what. He said, you're lucky to be alive. Yeah. Damn right I was lucky to be alive because there are thousands of black boys and men who are not. And all through my late teens to mid twenties, I kept getting pulled over, man. I got pulled over 11. Oh, it was like 12 times, man. 12 times. And each time they said it was because there, were, there had been an armed robbery and I fit the description. I, every time I was always pulled out of my car, thrown on my stomach, made to sit on the cur curb while them dogs searched my shit, man. One time I sat cuffed on the curb for 45 minutes why they searching my car now? Now tell me why are they looking for drugs if I'm being pulled over for a quote unquote armed robbery? It's bullshit, man. Because I fit the description. Another time I was I was in my car, me and my boy, for two hours, nigga, two hours. And the whole time I'm going, yo, officer, come on, man, you, you already ran my plate, you already ran our IDs, you know we ain't done nothing. So why are we being detained, man? It's just you have no power, you have no authority. And they're like, nah, you're gonna sit there and do what we tell you to do. So no, I ain't never felt served or protected by no fucking cop. All right, I felt endangered. Every time I got pulled over, man, I'm over here praying, hoping I survive and make it home. See, I know, I, uh, I know all too well, and this shit's hard. Right, it's hard seeing another black man being pulled over, taken out of his car, thrown on his stomach and handcuffed. Right, it's hard seeing a white police officer put a knee on his neck and suffocate the life out of him for eight minutes and 46 seconds, all the while he over here begging for his life. I right, call him for his fucking mama. Pleading, I can't breathe, man. But that could have been me. I'm afraid it could be you. It was me and you, man. War on drugs, segregation, structural inequities, disenfranchisement, economic disparities, healthcare, lack of education, and these racist ass cops have always had their knees on our necks, all the way back to the original sin. I right, the colonization of this country. And this, and this lady on the news talking about getting back to America's norm. Bitch, America's norm is the thing black folks trying to break free of. Facts. I mean, it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. And if we survive this jungle, it'll be a miracle. I had a modern day marvel. Da, 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 Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up. Welcome to the circus. See how at a black boy's birth, obstacles stack against him. He'll be seen as a threat, hypersexed, mandingo with a big stick. And if he be too black, too proud, too free, well, 
that could be deadly. And it all becomes normalized. He won't even have to think. It's all embedded, programmed, guaranteed, formalized. Oh, you disagree? Watch. Clothes make a man, so straighten up and hoodies off. Best behave or you don't get that promotion, boss. Best behave or you might lose that job. Best behave or you might find yourself behind bars and they'll throw away the key. Best behave or have a knee on your neck before your final breath. I've lived and watched to see these truths be self-evident. So it'll be a miracle that he'll simply survive. And that's the norm of a black boy described. Step right up. See, it all goes back to that original sin. Like, how do you get that stain out of the fabric of America? Like, like, like a stain on your shirt or, or your pants or J's, right? You let that stain sit there for days, uh, decades, centuries. That shit becomes permanent, right? That type of stain is hard to get out. And a tie to go pin won't do it. Nah. You got to get a whole new fit. New pants, new shirt. Jays, replace it all. That's, that's the only way you're stepping out clean. We have to start anew. Get rid of America as we know it. And until America can atone for its wrongs and puts a stop to racism, white supremacy, and police brutality, we cannot move forward, and that's on period. What the... Is these niggas out here percolating and pussy popping during a protest? These niggas out here voguing and doing the damn electric slide. Nigga, you got to be kidding me. And got these white folks doing it too. Hell no, man. Nigga, this shit is crazy. See, now I didn't see it all. And why not? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, my queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. Hey, what radio station y'all listening to? What station? Howard 99. <laughs> Hey, just that wartime, man. Now look, what? Don't get it twisted and misjudge, all right? Things ain't always what they seem to be. All right, sometimes you gotta take a second look. 2020. Oh uh, yeah, some people may ask, you know, why? You know, why are they out there pussy popping, percolating, electrocyte, and voguing during the damn protest? But you see, son, song and dance is intertwined in everything we do. All right, we dance to connect spiritually. All right, like a Zulu warrior, we dance to connect to ancestors who were here before, to ask for guidance and direction. All right, we dance to discharge power. We dance to denote strength. We dance to, to set our spirit free. Hell, we dance to survive. That's why we dance. And you about to lose your damn job. And that's on period. <laughs> I need you to move your car. All right, man. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm allowed to park on a street. We're blocking the street off. You need to find somewhere else to be. Are you serious, man? Where, where am I going to park, man? Hey, I don't know, but not here. You need to move it. Let's go now. All right, man. Give me some time. Fucking 
wild, wild west, bro. Nah, we need to take away some of their power. Right, you don't need a nigga with a gun telling you to move your car. Right, you don't need a nigga with a gun pulling you over for no traffic violation. You don't need a nigga with a gun to enforce no curfew. And you definitely don't need a nigga with a gun showing up because you fell asleep in your goddamn car. Post office, customer use only. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. We good, we good. Right here. Look here, man. Your daddy be long-winded and shit, I know. I'm gonna go and get out of here. Fight the good fight. Let motherfuckers know Black Lives Matter always has, always will. I matter, you matter. Facts. I don't want you to know that. I know it like, like the beat of your heart. I know it like the breath you breathe. Know it like the spirit of the creator that lives within you. Know it. I'm just key, all right? What you don't know can and will kill you. I right? like these, these police officers don't want you to know that it is some shit that they not supposed to be doing. Hell, they pray you stay ignorant. Nah, they have rules, all right? Procedures, regulations, facts. Check this out. The Philadelphia Police Use of Force Policy. One. When responding to an incident, officers will not sit, kneel, or stand on a subject's back or chest. Two, officers will not stand on a subject's head, face, and or neck area. Three, officers will not offensively kick and or stump on a subject, period. Four, officers will not transport an individual in a face down position, especially when handcuffed to prevent positional asphyxia that occurs when the position of the subject's body interferes with his or her ability to breathe. If an individual is having trouble breathing or is demonstrating life-threatening symptoms, medical assistance will be sought immediately. Five, the intentional use of neck restraints, choke holds, sleeper holds, or other holds to render a subject unconscious are prohibited. See? Nah, man, 12 ain't doing what they supposed to be doing. All right, they failing at their job, and we, the taxpayers, are paying their salaries. That's crazy, man. That's... We marched, we knew we voted. It still ain't shit changed, all right? We need change, and we need it now. All right, because without it, look, once the, once the rioting stops, once the looting stops, once the protesting stops, and even if these police officers, the four, are <laughs> brought to justice and convicted of murder, manslaughter, etc., things will go back to America's norm. All right, unless there is change in the political, social, and economic institutions, things will remain the same, man. Oh, I say let it burn. And I mean that shit. Let it burn. Fire moves. It brings attention and we get the attention. Best believe that. And that's what people are marching for. Fighting for. Protesting to break free of America's normalcy. Right, anything you create can be destroyed. Right? Racism can be destroyed, eradicated, and don't let nobody tell you different. Now, how do I know? Because I was given a sign from space. Launch America, NASA's space, America's NASA SpaceX or whatever. Just sent astronauts in the space, my nigga. Yeah, I watched. That space shit is crazy, right? You know, at first I was like, what in the hell do I care about space and the International Space Station when niggas is unemployed and dying from a pandemic? The fuck? I mean, that's just like a motherfucking luxury. I think it costs something like a million dollars a seat for two white men to be launched in the outer space. Get the fuck out of here, man. Who cares? Right? But then I saw this brother on CNN. 
this black rocket scientist who talked about its importance, you know, especially right now and what Launch America represents. Now he said it was important because it gave us all some sense of hope. And that's what we needed. Hope for research and technology, hope for forward movement, hope for what's possible for man, for black people. And I thought, damn, 2020. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. What? A nigga know the Bible. <laughs> I love God. What's wrong with you? Daddy got jokes, but um, for real though, times are dark now. Don't be discouraged by the dark sun. Darkness is not permanent. Darkness means change. The beginning of darkness means anew. PM will shift to AM and the sun will rise. Right, it always has without fail. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. We can't see it, but we have to know. It's a new day. And the sun is on its way up, little man. And that's 2020. Crystal, baby, you already know. I be the block, but you the lights to keep the streets on. Facts. I hope you understand I had to heed the call. For me, for our son, for you, for us, for our people. And son, I want you to remember me as a man. And a man who fought for freedom. A man who was noble and brave. And a man who opened the eyes of these white racist cops to the reality of their brutality. Sometimes you gotta talk to people in a language that they understand. When you're older, I hope you realize I had to do what I had to do, man. Son. It's your boy Nathaniel, AKA Nate, signing off. Turn on the news today. Everything seems the same as it was on yesterday. Sun turns to rain, joy turns to pain, and I'm trying to get through the maze today. Cause tomorrow never knows the flow of our soul. If Lenny can imagine peace, where has our peace gone? Pieces stay strapped on, bombs stay blast on. Turn the TV back on, hurricane just blown. Grandma, get us all together. See, it's time to read the songs through this stormy weather. In this world, yep, you gotta stay tougher than leather. Can't get no worse, so it's gotta get better. Uh, yay, though I walk through the valley of death. I should fear no evil, cause I know that I'm blessed. Be my own hero to my very last breath, cause I know it'll be alright.